What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Uh, glad to have you back. And by the way, guys, my apologies for the audio last time. I know that for some reason, uh, I looked at the, uh, the software recording, and it's perfectly fine. It was the actual... Uh, default somehow went to default on the computer itself, the audio itself. So uh, we've gotten it straightened out, and you see, and I've got my pop filter on there, so you won't hear any of that st distortion either. Um, so hopefully it's better this time. Anyway, guys, I've got two photos from Saul 184, and like I said, I think you guys are going to like this. You have to pay attention to the smallest things. All right, so this is it right here, Saul 184. And you can see it here at the top of the page, and it's just supposed to be a raw photo. These aren't raw. Raw mean to me means untouched, uh, non-manipulated, so on and so forth. For some reason, there are people out there who say, well, this guy thinks every, uh, every rock is some kind of item. No, I don't. What they don't see is all of the, the photos I set aside and never did use them. That's what they don't get. I'm only going to do videos on things that seem to be anomalous. Anyway, the first one here is this one here. You can see the small items sitting in the back here. And then, of course, you've got other items in the back. And I think you guys are going to like this because this is crazy. And this is the first one we're going to do right here, right? Okay, let's jump into Photoshop because I think you guys are going to like this. Now, I'm just going to zoom in. And the first thing you can see, and I don't have to do a thing to it. Some people will blame me. Oh, you know, you're enhancing it, so therefore you're finding these. No, I'm not. Right here, I'm going to go slowly. This tab, it looks like some kind of piece of steel uh, sticking out of this rock. Now, I'm not so sure this is a rock because you can almost see like something rounded right here. But you can see this right here. And this item is sticking straight out of it. And look at the way this rock goes down like this. It's completely slanted down. These are not rocks, guys. There's something sticking right out of it. And it appears to have either something round right there and something even larger that's round right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just zoom right in. Now, if this is the... I, I actually did blow this photo up so you guys can see it better. Uh, but it looks like there's some kind of weird, you know, round design if you will and another one right here but it goes like this here goes down and the other side it's some kind of like flat piece of steel almost like a sheet metal sticking out of this said rock right this you're going to see this thing people as the first thing that people are going to say oh it looks like a little miniature car and it you know to be honest with you it kind of does you'll see that a whole lot clearer this oh wait until you see this this is awesome but i'm just going to go over this real quick and you'll just see this Got this block, looks like a block of stone, and I'm talking like perfectly cut corners. And people will still say, no matter what you do, it's almost like people will go, well, if that's there, then clearly this is Earth. Why do people believe that we're the only life anywhere in this, in this uh, uh, universe and solar system? I don't know if you guys ever heard of the nemesis theory, but... You can see right here, is there a second sun in our solar system? And what it was, was like this total catastrophic event would happen. Here's a good example. They say proponents of the nemesis theory say it happened, it has happened before. In fact, every 26 million years, the Earth has a little problem. Some horrible and mysterious catastrophe brings about a mass extinction, destroying a large percentage of life on the planet and altering the balance of nature. It happened with the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. It's happened since. In fact, it's happened reliably about every 26 million years. The question is not if the Earth will see another cataclysmic extinction, but when. Now, I'll let you guys see this, but here's the thing. This is the only thing that pops into my head. And they say that this 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 uh, nemesis, it's like a burned out uh, uh, star. So it's just like this dwarf planet type thing now, just way out in the outskirts of our solar system. I've heard this more than once, that we are a binary sun solar system. If that's true, at some point, it would have been heating the planets from both ends, or at least pretty close, which to me would indicate, or at least seem, that, okay, that means there's a good possibility there was life on every single planet in our solar system. And they're actually finding more bodies out and further out p past Pluto, which is kind of like one minute's a planet, and the next minute's just a small body, right? Um, but either way, that indicates to me a good possibility that there could have been life on all of the planets in our solar system and not just the ones closest to the center of our solar system. So just keep that in mind. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this up. This right here, and I don't know if you guys will see this right off the bat, but you can see like what looks like almost like it's almost like dentures. Like if you look at the lower jaw and look down at the lower jaw, you'll see like what looks like teeth. Now, I'm just going to show you that. I'm just going to bring it right in for you guys. We've got this stone, and that's perfectly shaped, and it's got, look at the corners on it. 
Then you've got this, what looks like this weird block or something like that. Look, this this design, and it almost looks like these uh, teeth molders and stuff like that on the bottom. Look at that. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, obviously. I'm just saying, but that's what it reminds me of when you look down. If you were to look down at your jaw or the upper jaw, it don't really matter, right? And then we get this other item right here. And like I said, you guys can see this. You can see the line right here. You can see these right here, these designs here. And, of course, this item right here. Now, you can see what looks like a nice round. You can see the line to it. It looks like this round circle, and it might even have a hole in it. It has something that looks like it goes straight through the center of the hole. It looks, might be space on each side of it. Either way, this doesn't look natural to me. It really doesn't. Now, let's jump over to here. Because there's other things in this photo that just go, what? How is this possible? Just some of the little items. Look at this right here. Right there, you can see that. I'm going to zoom in. Whatever these things are, I'm telling you right now, they're not all rocks. Now, like I said, people will say to me, oh, you know, this guy thinks, you know, everything that's a rock is actually something else. No, I don't. No, I don't. What I do see is things that don't belong. That's why they call them anomalies, guys. But it looks like this weird box type thing. And you can see it's got some, you know, it's kind of rectangular. I think what they're doing is they're seeing these things and they're trying to break them apart. Why do I say that? Well, let's have a look. Let's back up and look. You can see the actual tread pattern to the Curiosity Rover's wheels. Now, I've told you guys before, if you wanted to gauge this, now I've seen some scientists where they had their hand actually sitting on the wheel, just the wheel itself, not the actual, the whole Curiosity. And it was about a thumb's length from this point to this point. So you guys get the idea. It's not very big. Now, of course, some people's thumbs are larger, right? So let's call it three, four inches in length. Just for argument's sake, maybe give or take. Okay, so these items are not very big at all, and you can see that. Okay, so let's go back up a little bit. You got this other items right here. You can see, well, not items so much, but as if something else is like blocked off. It has some kind of design on the ground. Okay, let's keep going. Here's another thing. Check these out. This looks like some kind of brass piece right here. I'm going to zoom into this, and you can see the coloration of it, almost like like something brass. And it has like these striations of something going down. See that? It has this almost 90 degree angle. Not quite 90. But right there. And it looks like it kind of goes like this. And has these lines in it. Here's another piece. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, what the hell are these things, guys? And look, I'm, I'm just going to back up and I'm going to just put the normal color in. They're there. But because everything's got this pukey baby color, crap looking color... Everything seems to blend, and that's exactly what they want. And it's just to throw the people's eyeballs off, and, they, and, they, and they've achieved it. A lot of people can't see this stuff. Check this out. Looks like something going up, and has this kind of rounded piece at the top, and looks like it has like some kind of like, I don't know how, if you want to call it like a, like a trim type thing on each side of it, right here. And of course, this thing's in the way of right here, but it looks like something going like this and something like that. See that? I mean, the, what are they, guys? Here's another wild looking thing. What could this possibly be? What is that? And here's the original shot. I didn't do nothing. You can see that here. And I don't know about you, but I'm seeing like designs, like something, I got something even right here, going like this. I think a lot of this stuff is actually either A, it's been encrusted, B, it's obfuscated and manipulated. One of the two is going on here. But nonetheless, there's some crazy things in here. Just have a look at the photos. This is just some wild-looking stuff in here. There was something, I think, I don't know if it was in this photo or the next one. I mean, you've got this. Look at this. This is crazy. You can see what looks like on this rock here. There appears to be some kind of, you know, now we're, like, moving in. So you can see pixelation and, you know, uh, you, know you can see some compression marks. And all of a sudden, you go to this other rock. The information has completely been redacted. See that? Completely taken out. What is it? Now, I'm going to jump to the next photo, which is also, like I said, it is also 184. And you can see that right here at the top, 184. And I'll just go ahead and highlight it, and you can see it right there. All right. This one's cool because it has some pretty freaky stuff in it. Now, this alone right here, I'm going to put it right in the center of the thing because I know some of you guys still can't see this cursor. I'm going to do what I can to enlarge that. But look at it carefully. You can see what looks like this this outline of this almost like a square it's got this white piece running across it goes down like this 
comes up, goes around, and it has this line through it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but check this out. I'm going to go ahead and docken it up. You can see that now it looks like this square type piece. It looks like it goes below this white feature on this, drops down, but it has a line going straight through it. I didn't put that there. That's there. By bringing this out, bringing in more natural colors, and then just using the, the burn tool, just going like this, just going over it like this. You don't even have to go over it tediously. Just go over it, and it'll bring it right out, right? And there you go. All right, so now let me jump back out of this. And we have what looks like, like, like writing or some kind of design just under this rock. Now I'm just going to show you the natural photo, or the one from NASA. And it looks like this carving right here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it does this here. Almost like, it has like a little point, but it goes like this, then goes like this. Something else, it looks like it's, it has this line, but goes like this out and around it. Now, I encourage all you guys to just get the photo itself. And again, don't zoom in. If you have one of those, like I said, these magnifiers or these these uh, eye jeweler pieces and things like that, these are the best things to use. Not so much a, uh, a magnifier, unless, of course, you've got the one that has the small little magnifier built into it. Then that's the way to go. You can see this just to give you guys a perspective of where this thing's at. I'm just going to head right there. You can see it right here. And it appears to have other pieces, almost like a... Uh, kind of like this uh, fish skeletal kind of thing going on. Whatever the hell that is right in there. And like I said, just just click on it. And I can use my eyepiece in this. And I'm looking at this thing. It looks like the letter B. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is. But it appears to be. And it's under this so-called rock. And I don't believe that's a rock there for a minute, guys, to be honest with you. I don't. Check this out. Look at the way this underneath this rock. The, see these right here? These spaces kind of does this here. It's almost like it has these little arches right here. And then it has some other designs. Check this out. Once you burn all this garbage away, and you can see it, you can see like this, this, I don't even know how to, it's, it's almost like they put a blur over the photo. So purposely you can't see it. But once you use the burn tool, you can bring anything that's dark out of the photo, right? So then once you do that, this is what you end up with. How is that a rock, guys? Look at it. And you can see, <laughs> again, information redacted out of the photo or completely covered over, whichever comes first. And you can see it right here. You can literally see the information being taken right out of this photo. And this is, you can see it right there. And then you can see some detail above it. Not too good, of course. It's kind of a low res piece of crap anyway. But you can see that. Tell me what you guys think it is. Now, to me, this looks like some kind of steel. I don't know too many rocks that have a design right there on it. Has this arch to it. All in the same spot. And even this part here looks smooth. Like a pinkish kind of smooth looking item. See that? Right there. And like I said, the way this thing is designed is doing this. And it has this design on it. And it keeps going. You can see where it has this weird point and it does this. Do you see that? This whole item right here alone screams intelligently made. Look at it. And it's there. This object is there. Just that alone, guys. Just this alone. Just another proof. Just more proof of intelligently made objects on this planet. What we're seeing is objects here that just don't look like rocks. They look like intelligently made objects that have just been blown to pieces or been run over, which I'm not surprised because here's the rover, right? And you can see right there behind it, look at this. There's the rover. There's the marks. There's the tread marks right there. It's literally running over these things, guys. And if it's not running over them, it's taking the, the actual arm and just kind of beating the stuff and moving it around. Why would it be doing that? Why would you care what these, these items are if they're nothing more than just simple rocks, right? And again, we've got this other item here. There's no way this stuff is just normal. Here's another thing. You don't see unless you actually bring it out and you burn this area. It looks like some kind of weird lettering or words. I don't know what that is. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. I'll let you guys check it out, but it's going to get fuzzier and more. But you can see that right there, there's something on this so-called flat rock. See it? It's written right there, and all I do is burn the thing, and this is what... It, now, here's the weird thing. See how this has these weird colors in it? That is manipulation. You're actually burning through a manipulation. In other words, the details are still under it. When you look at it like this, the details are still under the manipulation to try to blur it or cover it over. All you're doing is bringing out the dark areas. See the dark areas right here? You're bringing that out, and by doing that, you're seeing the shapes of these said items. And look at that. I mean, it's right there. It looks like words or some kind of designs on this thing. Is it? 
You guys be the judge as always. All right, guys, I'm not going to take up too much more time. I just wanted to just bring this out. And this is just two photos of 184. And I just wanted to get those out for you. But we do have plenty of uh, uh, photos and videos coming up. We have all kinds of things from people that have suggested some uh, particular photos. We're going to get into those too. Uh, so sorry about that, guys, for the weight and everything. But um, they are coming up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.